Begin the current Dav Masech Zba Metziah Dav Nun. We begin three lines down at the top of the Yamid. The Gemara continues in a related discussion that we mentioned from the Mishnah, the, the, the teaching of Reb Tarfin relating to the merchants of Lod, and also regarding this halacha that we just mentioned about like who has the upper hand. It's the, it's the party that was, uh, had the unfair pricing directed at them that they have the upper hand. I should go spend for Kazakh and the Kazakh turned them up. I'm sure in today's daf, she's just going to be so nice throughout the entire world. Some of the things discussed in today's daf are is I know, uh, a shtus lemekach? Is it a sixth of the, of the product or is it actually a shlis lemekach? It's actually not a shtus like we call it, but it's actually a shlish, a third. That would make it only unfair pricing. Moreover, this halacha of shtus, what's the halacha? So the mekach is kind, the sale is valid. It's just that the ina, the price differential, has to be given back. What happens if it's less than that? So that's actually mechila. It's, 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 it's pardoned. If it's more than that, they both back out from the sale and they can both void the sale. Now, the question is, when it's less than a shtus to the Rabbanon, and we say it's a mechila, is that immediate? Or is it the amount of time that a guy goes back home and he says to his wife, and he says, you know, I paid for the eggs, um, three forty nine. You you paid what? And she says, you realize that in, in, in this other store, it's three twenty nine, right? He's like, okay, you know what I'm saying? That's not a shtus exactly, you know what I'm saying? But do we say right away it's mechilo, though maybe his wife's going to send him back and say, no, we're not paying that extra 20 cents. You get that money back. So is the mechilo right away? Or is it the amount of time where a guy goes home and he gets a good scolding, and then, and then it's going to be that lacham? Additionally, the Gemara discusses, interestingly, although it sounds like that a shlish is the same thing as a shtus, the Gemara discusses from a shtus till a shlish, according to a tarifin, what the Allah is over there. Not so simple. It would sound like, okay, whatever shtus is, Rabbanan is a shlish of not necessarily. And also the question is by bitl mekach. When we say that it's more than a shtus, the guy, the guy was, a, it was, a, it was a fifth or a coin to, uh, let's say half, whatever it is, is that lo'elam chayzer? Could you always back out? Or is that also bechdei shira? Only amount of time that you get home, but maybe the guy he paid half, like double the amount, 200%, but, but you, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't come back. So maybe... Maybe you can't back out as long as you want to. So, um, the, what we mentioned in the Mishnah that Oino is our Ba Kesef, Me'esrim Ba'aba Kesef Lasela, which is Shtus Lamekech. So, this slide is just showing that um, one Sela is four dinarim, a dinner is six, ma, six Ma'a. So, basically, that the Sela, um, which is what the item was worth, um, which is 24 mois, so that th- th- those, those six ma um, is going to be a, uh, um, oh, oh, is going to be a, a, those, um, those four, those four ma, I don't know what this is showing actually, but it's going to be a sixth of the, oh, this, this is what it shows. So it's just saying the, the ino are the 16, uh, uh, the 24 ma is uh, every six um, Every four is going to be, um, no, it's, yeah, every six is a dinner. Okay, that's just confusing. But, um, but, but the it, four of them is going to be, that's what we said in the Mishnah, is going to be a, 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 a sixth. And that's going to be of Oina. And we said, how long can you back out? That's Ad Kedei, Shehrela Tagel, Ekreba, as long as you could show it to your relative. And Tarfin said, no, and this just picture just illustrating in case someone's a visual learner. It's just saying that it's a, but a third. So it's obviously, uh, that many more coins, uh, as we said, that's going to be eight, is going to be a third of, the, of, of this amount. And this is actually very important, which we're going to learn today, that the merchant of Lud will please, please with this ruling, obviously, because you could see visually how many more coins uh, you can overcharge, and it's not going to be considered as the, uh, we're going to get very technical in a moment, but it's not going to be considered as a no until it's that, that, that amount. But then he said to them, and again, we, all these points are going to be very relevant, very in the moment, he said, but, but I want you to know that the short change party has an entire day to renege, which the Chacham had only said that just till you get home and, and, and you come back. So he said, you know what? We don't need this teaching. We don't, we'd rather not have the teaching of time, which sounds like a Chiddush, because he was letting you charge, you know, the Chacham were only letting you charge four up until that's, you know, he knows up until four. He was letting you up until eight. And they said, no, no, no. <laughs> if you let all day backing out, we, we're reverting back to the teaching of of the Rabbanim. So, so this is where the Gemara 
introduces, uh, the Gemara is going to give two explanations for the reaction and the reversal, depending how we interpret the Machlik is Rabtar from Rabban. So the, the Gemara says, this is three lines down at the top of the Yamit. Ibailuhu, and again, this is a little bit of a complex reading. But the following question. Pachis mishtus. Less than a sixth. Lerabon, according to Rabban. Laaltab mechila. We had already explained that less than a sixth is, is a, a person's meichel. But the question is, is that mechila, is that automatic? Is that immediate? And that is, um, even if you would come right back, it's a nobody. You paid for it. It's 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 it wasn't such a big deal, and and it's mechila. Oi, no, or maybe bechdeshi out of letaga lekrayve. Meaning, it's an amount of time the guy could go to a, a, a local merchant or to his relative, and, and, and then and then um, if he doesn't come back, then it's mechila. So says the Gemara. Mimtem some. If you're going to say, wait a second, if you're going to say bechdeshi ro letaga lekrayve, meaning. If you're going to say, of course, right away it's mechila. Because if you would think to say it's the amount of time that it takes to get to merchant or his relative, then ma'ika ben shtus lepachas mishtus. Then what's the difference between when it's a sixth or less than a sixth? Didn't you say in the Mishnah it's the same thing? Didn't you say in the Mishnah that if a shtus, it's a no, and that he gets his money back, only the amount of time that he could go home, if he doesn't come home, then you said, then it doesn't come back after an hour, then you get to keep it. So then that sounds like the same thing than less than a shtus. Obviously, then it must be Mechila right away. So says, no, it's not true. It's not a Raya. Why? Because Ika, the difference would be the Ilushtos, because regarding a sixth, the Mishnah on the next Alf, the Nathan Alf, teaches that the one that was, that was defrauded, Yodei Alal Yaina, he has the upper hand. He could choose. What could he choose? Ratzah if he wants. He could back out. He could void the sale because you overcharged me by a six. Or if he wants, he could choose that to go through with the sale, but that he gets back the money. Now, but when it's less than the sixth, if he backs out in the mind, let's say, let's say we'll give you the amount of time of getting home. And we thought there's no difference. There is a difference. Because even if it's the amount of time that he goes to a merchant or he comes back, the Allah is kana. The sale is definitely done. It's just that we're going to give you back those 20 cents, those 30 cents, we're going to give you back. So, so it says the Gemara, it's not definitive from saying, oh, there's no difference. It would be a difference. So, my, we're back to the question. What's the halacha? Is mechila right away? Or maybe we're giving him out the time. We're getting to the merchant. And I, you said, isn't that the same thing by shtos? Yeah, that part is the same as shtos. But the difference is by shtos, you could, you could undo the whole sale. You have a choice. Here, you cannot, but you'll get your money back. What's the halacha? It says the Gemara, Tashima. Here, here you have to buckle, that, buckle, buckle up seatbelts a little bit. Tashima. So... We learned in the Mishnah that regarding the merchants of Lud, the Mishnah told us that um, they originally were very pleased with what Reb had uh, had said, that they get up until an, an, a, a third to overcharge. But then when they heard that um, what he said, that you get back out all day, so Chazul Dibr Chachamim, they went back to the Pinyat Chacham. It says the Gemara like this. Savrua, the Rabban and the Beis they thought, the ones who wanted to answer our question from the Mishnah, they thought like this. When there's less than a third, according to Reb Tarfan, again, it's not a no, remember, uh, Reb Tarfan said up until a third, but less than a third, was exactly Kapachas Mishnah's Rabban and which it would, it would sound like that. It's the same thing. A no is only by a sixth, according to Chamem, according to Reb Tarfan, it's only a third. So less than that would be the same. Now, says the like this. If you say that Pachis Mishtus L'Rabbanan when it's less than a sixth according to Rabbanan which we're saying is Mechila if you're going to say Bechdei Shira L'Tagar L'Kraivai is the amount of time it's only Mechila when the guy we'll call it an hour till the guy could get to a merchant or to his relative. Now and that's only when it's going to be Mechila. Ulrib Tarfan, now according to Tarfan, his mechila is kal hayayim, is all day long, meaning from a pruta all the way till a third, right? Remember, less than a, less than a sixth, we're assuming of the chachamim, is the same thing as less than a third of Reb Tarfan. And, and we're saying, according to chacham, you get, let's say, an hour. According to Tarfan, you get all day long. Ah, Mishum Hachi Chazru. So that would make sense 
why they backed out. As Rashi explains, in the beginning they were happy. Why were they were happy? Because a sixth, and more than a sixth, all the way up until a third, according to Rabbanon, that you could back out in the amount of time that you could show it to a merchant or to your relative. Now, if he wants to totally back out from the whole sale, that's it, the merchant lost the sale. However, Reb Tarfin considers that as mechila, because it's less than a third. And there would be a Kenyan, and at the most, he would have to give back the Aina. But, but since it's less than a third, you cannot undo the sale. The sale is done. At the most, you'll be able to get back the price difference. Now, when Reb Tarfin, that's why they were originally very happy. When he subsequently said to them that he could back out all day, Ooh, that was a that was a big loss. Why? Because uh, when it's less than a sixth or a sixth, which according to Rabbanan, um, it's a mechila up until the amount of time that you could show it to a merchant. He's saying no, they get all day long, and and they're gonna have to give back that I know. Now, Rashi says, wait a second. But wait, according to Rabbanon, a sixth and more than a sixth is a totally voiding of the sale. According to Tarfin, the sale is valid and you only have to give back the Why they? Why is this such a, why are they definitely backing out of Tarfin? Says Rashi, no. It, it, they, they, it, they rather have <clears throat> that the guy could only back out the amount of time it takes him to get to a, a merchant or to a relative. And if he doesn't come, then it's a mechila. Then having a sale valid and having to give back the know if the guy gets all day long. I don't want to, sellers don't want all day long. We don't like this, you know, people being able to back out. That's how Rashi explains. But I'll compound them just to keep things simple, because obviously there's a long time and there's the ways of complicating this, is that if you say that according to the Rabbanon and hence from Tarifin, Less than the shtus is mechila only the amount of time it takes to get to a merchant. What we just described makes sense. We know why they're originally happy, and then we re- realize why they why they why they ended up saying, "Nah, it's not worth it," because uh, you're giving all day long for less shtus, or you are tapping less than a third all day long. I don't want that. So uh, the rabban only let an hour. You're letting for for the whole day? No, we're, we're going back to rabban. But says the Gemara, better Eli Yami. But if you say that Pachas Mishtos Lerabanan, the other option, if you say less than the six according to Rabbanan, La Alta Habe Mechila, it's right away. There's no like waiting to get home. No, the sale is done. We, we assume everyone's Michael, it's a Mechila right away. So as we continue to make base, so then the assumption would be, and this is an assumption, that La um, Alta Habe Mechila. That, that means to say, for him, less than a third is also right away mechila. So now the Gemara is stumped. If that's the case, so then Amai Chazru, why did the merchants in Lud back out? It's not true. But the Reptar for Nichol Utfei, Reptar is way better. The Mai did Rabbanon Kamash for Lo because for what the Rabbanon they consider as Aina, which is from a sixth till a third, Reptar for Nav Mechila, Reptar that is a mechila, because as Rashi explains in Masla Mai Chazu, Reb Tarvin's kol hayoyim is only relevant for a shlish. No problem. The sellers will be careful not to charge a third more, but everything underneath that is wiped out right away. Immediate mechila. So it doesn't make sense if you held that the mechila was la alta. But the Gemara wants to resolve. The, t- the Tamidim wanted to resolve from our Mishnah that you see that the Mechila is only La'acha Kadesh Yiro, Latagar, Oilekra. The Gemara says, no, not a Raya. Why isn't it a Raya? Says the Gemara, because Misavi, do you think to say that Pachis Mishlish Lurib Tarfin, that less than the third according to Reb Tarfin, was Kapachis Mishtus Labanadami? Which we thought, we were assuming that. No, it's not the same. Lie. Says the Gemara, why not? I'll explain to you. Mishtus, it's very interesting how the Gemara is differentiating. Mishtus of the Ad Shlis, Lirab Tarfin, that area that he's adding on 
the Louisiana Purchase. Now, between the, the sixth and the third, according to Reb Tarfin, that oina is kishtus atz molar is what the Rabbana would consider as a shtus. So what does that mean? Meaning there's three categories. There's less than a shtus, there's a shtus, and there's more than a shtus. Now, Rashi explains, Reb Tarvin's not disagreeing on the Chachamim, really. What is he disagreeing on them? Is that they said more than a sixth, definitely up until a third, meaning even more than that, whatever, any more than a sixth, is bitl mekach. The sale is void. So, um, the, 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 he's considering it as just oina. Just oina means to say that the guy has the upper hand. He could choose what he wants. But according to Abbanan, both of them could back out. Very interesting answer the Gemara is giving. The disrupt tarfin is not a, it's not a like washing away, saying anything less than a third is like less than a sixth. No, it's like a sixth itself. But it's not, like more, it's not more than a sixth. So therefore, um, that's why um, it, it's, not so pl- it's not so pleasant anymore, the opinion of Reb Tarfin. But then the Gemara says, if that's the case, Reb Tarfin was only disagreeing on the bit of Mecca of it, but my son Chamikara, why were they so happy in the beginning? It's not, so, it's not such a labor of the that they got. Tivshid. So now the Gemara wants to go on another angle. Say, then you should be able to resolve from the fact that they were happy that the bit of Mecca Chlerabanan must be that there's a question the Gemara brings later on the other way. Meaning we had spoken about less than a shtos. We want to know, is that mechila right away or not? There's another question. When it's more than a shtos, it, can you always back out? Or is it also limited to b'chdei shira? You can resolve in the fact that they were so happy that according to Rabbanon, lo'olam chayzer, that you could always back out. Why? So, because the kibin, the amalur, reptar, and havi, and oh, since Reb Tarfin had instructed them that up until a third is going to be considered as a no, now they thought that the Bechtei Shira, um, that um, he held this by a no, so, um, so Samchu, so um, says the Gemara, yeah, you should be able to resolve that. Um, that, yeah, that according to Rabbanan, you could always back out. So that, wait a second, according to Rabbanan, if it's more than a sixth, up until a third, you could always back out. So, so Reb Tarfin says that it's not a bet al it was just, just, just a between the sixth and the third. Oh, that's great, because they thought that that's limited to the Bechdei Shira of Oino, as Rabban said. So some of them were very happy. But Ki Amaluhu Kalayim, then when he said to them, no, my between sixth and third, is only all day. Well, then Chazur, then they backed out. Well, why they back out? So Rashi explains in Masalik Yamalu. First of all, because the difference between Lo'ilam Chazur and being able to wait all day is a very small amount of Hana for them. Because that's a, lot, that's a lot, long time to be able to back it all day long. So it's not, not a great glick that Tafan was giving them now that he's saying you could back it all day. And moreover, to have Lo'ilam no, more than the six is not so common. People, don't, people are not usually overpriced that much. And, um, and the problem is, in the sixth itself, which is within normal limits, that Reb is worse. Kud Rabban said, the guy can only back out for an hour, and according to Reb Tarfin, you get all day long. So therefore they backed out. Because says the Gemara, because this is the Gemara, thing to say, the bit of Mecca Chal that actually the nullification of a Mecca Chal is like Oino, and that is, it's not forever. And rather, it's Bechdei Shiro, Letagalei but it's only the amount of time that you show to a merchant or a relative. And that means to say there's no difference between Oino and Bitl Mekach. The only difference is that by Oino, the guy has the upper hand, and by Bitl Mekach, both could back out. If that's the case, so then when Reb Tarfin makes the Rabbanan's Bitl Mekach into Oino, that's not a favor for them. But my Samchu, what are they rejoicing? What's the grace of Glick? It, 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 he didn't do any favor for them. Says the Gemara, no, you could say samchu b'shtos atzma, which is another slice that the Gemara is making. You could say that there was a, a, a joy in the sixth itself, that 
although we're saying more than a sixth up until a third, according to Reb Tarifin, is a no, but he disagreed on the sixth itself. That Reb Tarifin mechila, according to Reb Tarifin, that was actual mechila, or the Rabbana no. Because as Rashi explained, this that we said from a sixth till a third, according to Reb Tarifin, is like a shtus according to Rabbanan, that was only more than a sixth. But sixth itself was actually mechila. It was on that that they were rejoicing originally when they said, oh, oh but a sixth itself, you're telling me that that, that, that will be mechila. That's going to be like less than a, a six to crunch up tarfan. And that, that's what we're happy about. And the Gemara now brings the question that we had said that was asked. Iboilu, bitl mekech rabbanan. The nullification of the sale, which is like when it's on the sixth. Crunch rabbanan. Lo elm chazer? Could you always back out? Oh, I don't know if they share all the tagalic rabbi, or is it only limited amount of time that the guy could show to a merchant or his relative? Now, the interesting is to say, wait a second. In other words, if you're going to say, obviously, you could always back out. Because if it's only going to be the amount of time you're showing to his merchant relative, what's the difference between the sixth and one and the six? They're both limited to that amount of time. No, the difference would be the ilush tus, because whereas by a sixth, mission is on the only the one that was uh, that was uh, was overcharged, he's the one that could back out. Really, yes, but if it's more than the six, name both of them could back out. In other words, even if you're going to say both of them are limited to Bechdeshira, there's still this difference between them. So my what's halacha is bitla mekach lo elam chayzer or is it only bechdei shira letager? So this is the Tashma. Let's bring a raya from the halacha of our mishnah. Our mishnah said that um, that when, when Reb Tarfin added kali yemut alavzer chazal dibechacham. So then uh, they reverted to the ruling of the rabbana. So says the gemara i amit bishleimah. If you say bitla mekach lo rabbanon that according to the chachamim. When it's more than a sixth, and it's bitl mekach, it's avoiding of the sale, that that is bechdei shiru l'tagel l'kreivoy, that's limited to the amount of time that you could show it to a merchant relative. Uler of tarifin kalayayim, according to tarifin, however, uh, you get all day, okay, mishamach hachazra. That's why they backed out of Reb Tarifin's teaching. In other words, in the beginning, when Reb Tarifin had made even more than a sixth into a na, which according to Rabbanon, that's the worst off for the merchants, that it's a bitl mekach, and um, he didn't extend uh, yet the time of backing out. They were very happy with the sixth itself, that there was a mechila right away, as we said, according to Reb Tarfin, that the sixth is a mechila, according to Reb Tarfin. But then when he subsequently said to them, by the way, he gets all day, uh, they backed out of Reb Tarfin, because now he's making it worse for them when it's more than the sixth. And it's worse for them more than what they're gaining in the sixth itself, like we explained. So although the sixth Reb Tarfin did do something for them, but now anything more than the sixth or even less is worse because everyone gets all day versus, versus let's say, the hour. But if you say, but if you say that the, 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 the chacham hold that when it's more than the sixth to nullify the sale, you could always back out. Wait a second. Amai Chazru. Why did they back out of Reb Tarfin to go to the chachamim? But the Rebtafen Nichol Tfei, oh, Rebtafen is definitely better because the Gemash below I know he's making that that I know is only Kal Hayyim. He's making this amount of more than a six till a third as I know, which is only all day. But Suloi, not more than that. As Rashi explains in Maskal Eli Yamrid, he says, You're right, although regarding the sixth itself, that um, he actually is making it I know like Rabban, because Rashi explains. This that the Gemara previously had said that there was some chubishtus atzma says Rashi that's a shnui dechikahava that's a that's a dechik teretz um, because we just wanted to know why were they were happy we were, we we were bothered we said why were they happy but now that you're telling me that you know why they were happy originally was because of the halacha bittel mekach because according to Rabbanon you could always back out now Reb Tarfin they thought is only bichdei shira which is how the halacha is of Eno but Rabbanon so that of course that would make them happy you don't have to say in the sixth itself. But then, when he subsequently told them all day long, so, wait, there's still joy. Because according to the Rabbanon, you could always back out. According to the Tarfin, you only get all day and not, not more. I, if you're going to say regarding the sixth itself, that according to Rabbanon, it's Bechdei Shira, and for him, it's all day long, that doesn't make a difference. They're gaining way more from the Tarfin for the more of the, when it's more than the sixth, than the loss that they're having on the sixth itself. Because like Rashi says, they could be careful just not to charge a sixth itself. They'll either do a, l- a little bit less, and it'll be mechila. So it comes out, but they gain with Reb Tarfin any, I know, that's more than a sixth. So, so 
if you held that um, that the bit of Mekach Rabbanan is L'Oilam Chayzer, so why would they have backed out of Rabbi and go to Rabbanan? So think about it, that's not a raya. It's bit of Mekach, Lishchich. Very simple. It's not so common for a, a, an overcharge that's going to take you to bit of Mekach. So such a, such a gain is not significant for them because it's not common. Even if it would happen, so he still, Rabbi himself also gave them the whole day to back out. Most people who back out, back out with them today. And, and, and companies like Costco, whatever, they, they, they rely on that. They know you're not coming back. If, 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 you know. so, so the Pagam of the Shtus itself was better for them, which was, that's where they're getting more from the Rabbanan. Because the, Rab- the Rashi said the Gemara backs out of what it previously said. The Rabbanan agrees that a Shtus is Aina, and that he gives you all day. Rabbanan says it's only an hour. So they, they'd rather go with the Rabbanan than with that Rabbanan. So again, the Gemara didn't prove anything, but the Gemara says, Amarav, he says, Helchasa Allah is, when it's less than the sixth, nikna mekach. So then the, 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 the purchase is immediate, um, as Rashi explains, which means the mechila happens automatic. That was one of the questions we had. Yosal shtos, more than the sixth, bitl mekach. That's avoiding of this ill, and both of them come back out, which we didn't answer now. Uh, is only till he gets to a merchant, or could he back out forever? Shtos, if it's exactly a sixth, so kana. It, the sale is valid. No, none of them can back out. But a machzor no, but the aino has to go back. So Rashi explains the masal machzor no that Rava does does not hold of what we said in the Mishnah that yodel yaino, which is a, a Mishnah on the next daf daf nun aleph. He holds like the Gemara is going to bring like Reb Nassim brought in a brisa because we hold like Reb Nassim who is a dying and and he was as the Gemara says later on daf kubi dying but we come daf nun gimel that he was he, he got to the depth of the of the real uh, din. And, uh, and therefore we pass it like him. So it's not like Yodal Yoyna. It's no. It's, it's sale is valid. And you have to give back the Yoyna. Now, Vizeh Vizeh, both the Yoyna and Bittl Mekach, so he is, so Rashi is, is so now the Gemara is uh, answering the question, is Bechdei Shiro Latagal L'Kreivay. It's not L'Oilam. You cannot back up forever. Even Bittl Mekach, just like Yoyna, is the only amount of time you get to a merchant or to a relative. And Tani Kabbalah says, we have a Bryce that says like Ravah. Aina is Pachas Mishtos. If you have Aina less than a six Nikna Mekach, so then the sale is valid. Yes, Al Shtos, with more than a six bottle Mekach, the sale is void. Shtos, if it's a six, Kano Umach Zayna, so that's the Rib Nasan, that's exactly like Rabbah, like we said that he passed like Rib Nasan, not like the Allah the Mishnah, because Rib Nasan was a, was a dying that we passed it like. That uh, if it's a six, it's a kid, happens right away, and you give back the, 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 the price difference. Yudha Nasim, he says, no, like our Mishnah, he says, Yad Meichel Yaina. The hand of the seller has the upper hand, which Rashi just explained, meaning if if the seller got um, that got frauded, but but the same thing would be if the if the buyer got frauded, that the buyer would have the upper hand, and that's how the Gemara later on the next daf explains whatever was left out of the Mishnah was taught in the Brisa. The Mishnah discusses the case of a buyer, and the Brisa just discusses in the case of a seller. So right, so Imola, if he wants, he can tell him, tell him, give me my my product back. I tell him, Ashani Sunny, or give me what the fraud was. But he gets to choose again. That's that's the machlek is. Is it, automa- is, it, is, it, is it automatic or he gets to choose? Now, both I know, or Betel Mekach is the amount of time to show it to a merchant or to a relative. Now, the Gemara says, we said in the Mishnah, said, when could he back out? It says, so we said, it's the amount of time to show it to a Tagore. So we already quoted this teaching before. He says, we didn't learn this halacha, is Elo Lekech. It's only a buyer who he has the product in his hand. He could show people what he bought. Abu Meicher, but a seller that he doesn't have what to show and to like tell his colleagues. Um, so he doesn't recognize that he undersold it until, until they see another garment just like the same one that he sold, which is sold for more money. And he's like, wait a second, I sold it for only 100. You tell me these suits go for 200? So he could be La'ilam Chayzer. He could always back out. Uh, again, if the price of talises did not go up in the meantime, he could always back out simply because he, he had no way of knowing uh, and therefore he's not limited to this, to this amount of time. Now, says the Gemara, name is Hayeli. Let's say our Mishnah supports this teaching because the Mishnah said, we said that what happened was is that um, the, after Tarfin had said all day long that you could back out, they went back to the Pinnah Chacham. Says the Gemara, if you say that the seller could always back out as get into the from an aleph, so Misham Hachi Chazru. That's why the merchants backed out because um, they were sellers, these merchants. 
and they don't gain anything by the extended time of Rebbe backing out, because Rebbe Tarfin said all day long, because even to the Rabbanon, um, they said you could always back out, meaning, meaning the merchants themselves are not gaining from this extension of Rebbe's time, because of Rebbe Tarfin's time, because for the sellers, that's what Rev Nachman is saying, seller, even Rabban agreed could always back out. So, but you say, but if you would say not like Rav Nachman, and you say that our Mishnah is halacha would apply by the seller just as equal as the buyer, so my So then, um, what would they? What would? What would? Why? What would it make a difference to the merchant? Why would they back out? For them, it actually also helps the extended time of the backing out because just like it helps for the buyers, it also helps for the sellers. So if they make a mistake, they're also going to be able to back out. So, so it says, no, it's not a raya. Because the merchants of Lud, it's not so common that they would make a mistake. And therefore, uh, it wouldn't be relevant for them. So even it could be that it would be for the meicher just like Kech, but, but they don't make the mistakes. Now, the Gemara just brings one story that we'll end off with. Which the host of Rama Bachama, Zavan Chamra, Bata. What is this, wine also? He sold wine, and he made a mistake for himself, meaning he undersold it. So, so Rambam Bahama saw that he was depressed. Amalai says, Am I tzivas? Why are you down? Why are you depressed? Amalai says, He says, I sold wine. I made a mistake. I made a huge loss. Amalai says, Zilhadabach, back out. Amalai says, But I already, it was already more than the time of showing it to my relative or, or, or merchant that had already passed. So it's already a done deal. So Shalom comes to Rav Nachman. He sends in front of Rav Nachman, who was the one who taught this teaching. And he says, "No, Lashon El Lekev. This was only for the buyer. But the seller could always back out. My time. What's the reason? So the Gemara explains. And this is what we want to say the story. He explains because Lekev makes the The buyer has the purchase item in his possession. They say, "Wow, look at this ring. Look at this watch I bought." Rav they're going to say, "He tell you like that." You say, "How much you pay for this?" Well, yeah, and they're going to. He's going to find out about it. The seller doesn't have what he sold in his hand. Until he's going to one day have the same sold item like the one that he sold, he's going to know if he made a mistake or not. Therefore, he's not limited to the same amount of time. He could always be chaser. Uh, thank you to any time for listening.